If there's any of my friends and family out there watching this, wondering why I'm in an AFL scarf, don't worry, I'm thinking the same thing. <laughs> but I'm up against Michael and Courtney, avid footy fans. We've hit finals fever, and we're gonna be cooking up some footy food like you've never seen before. Come on, you Swannies. Go the Brisbane Lions. <laughs> <laughs> Grand final day, you've got all the, the lads and the ladies standing around talking tactics and I think what better way to do that than over a barbecue. So I'm going to butterfly chook, marinate it, barbecue it, and then uh, the boys can stand around and have a few finger food. and uh, yeah. Sounds good to me. All right. Do you want to get started on the marinade? So sure. It's a very, very simple marinade. We're going with the classics, garlic, chilli, some coriander seed and some lemon, which is always a good start when you're working with chook. You're going to get so much flavour out of the barbecue. Butterflying it, it also cooks a lot quicker than what a roast would. How many cloves of garlic? This size? Four. Yeah, Four cloves? Yeah, five. Five? Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to start by taking off the wing tips. You can absolutely ask your butcher to do all this for you, but it's a good skill to have. It's nice to know how to break down a bird, whether it's chicken, duck, quail, anything like that. As long as you're not squeamish with the bones. No. And it's, look, that's what it is. It's... That's what it is. This is this is food. It doesn't people. come in a packet Welcome. all the time. So we're just gonna take the, <laughs> how graphic you want to be. Backbone, say backbone. Backbone, the backbone. it's fine. Right. So then it's, you're basically just following the anatomy. You want to find the, the joints. So we're going to start up here around the shoulders, go through there and just disconnect and then run down the line. It really is quite straightforward and the, the only way that you're going to get better at it is to do, do more and more of them. So go grab a chalk, take your time and figure <laughs> out how to do it. It's really quite simple. So. It's one of the, my dad taught me how to do this when I was young. He's yeah. big family cook-ups, yep. um, flattened barbecues, cook really quick. And my dad was like, come on, show you how to do this. To We'd make it. a big pot of stock with all of these bones. Exactly, so. that's, it's like a, a dual purpose. Take the bones out, roast them all off, make a sauce. The bird cooks really, really quickly. And it's a nice way to do it. You can't barbecue a whole bird. So garlic, lemon zest. Yep. Any juice or not for now, just these? Not for now, we'll finish it with some lemon juice at the end. Coriander seeds and chili flakes and just give it a good old bash. All right, get warmed up for the match. All right. I can do that. I'm picturing it. Oh, That's get, what I thought I'm like. I get fired up before the game. What you want to do? You want I to do. stand around the barbecue or you want to talk about how you're going to mop the floor with the uh, opposition, how the ref was unfair last week, all uh, that kind of. Oh, yeah. Swan supporters never blame the refs. <laughs> also, with butterflying, it's. Uh, Nice to, to consider the, the practicality of eating and, and making it a, a little bit more approachable. So we'll just take, take the thigh bone out here. So all we do, find the bone, run the knife along it, push your, <laughs> push your finger through, create the gap, and then we just release it. But you can, you can buy chicken portions as well. Salt and oil in here? Yes, sir. Oh, I can't say sir. Yes, you can. Yes, I can. You can say sir. Right. I'll call you a girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't follow the AFL. <laughs> no, I, I grew up on NRL, Parramatta Eels. Fan. Yeah, see, Sharkies. That's my flavour. I guess since working for the club, I've got a new respect for the game and the players, and I see what goes on and how much hard work goes in. So I, uh, I quite enjoy getting to the Swannies games. Yeah, it's good. How are you looking there? Bit of oil. Bit of oil, yeah. Get a bit. So you've got like a nice rough paste going on there. Yep. Now just loosen it up with a bit of oil. All right, so there's the chook. Butterfly, and the time that you've made the marinade, took has been butterflied. So awesome. it's, it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Right. Everything's in, oil, salt, all them spices. Marinade straight over the top, plenty on the skin, because that's what's going to have the contact with the griddle. We're going to do it on the barbecue and finish it in the oven. If you're at home, you've got the barbecue cranking outside. Just go medium heat on the grill, get a nice color on the skin, shut the hood. And a chook of this size, you're probably going to want to leave it for 40 minutes. To cook. It's the bonus about butterflying. Yeah. That you've got direct heat. All right, so just make sure we mop all of that up. Get plenty on there. Ideally, I would say, and I'm always going to say it when it comes to marinade, I'm sure you're on the same page, leave it overnight if you can. Oh, of um, course. But yeah. If, if not, it's not life or death. Yeah. If old mates organise the boys to come around last minute, <laughs> you don't know what you're going to do, throw the marinade on and just chuck it on the barbecue. Yeah. It's all good. So like a medium heat, if you don't want to go too hot too early, we're just going to Sit it on there, get some nice skin contact, get some nice bar marking, bit of caramelization, bit of crust happening onto a tray, into the oven, crack a beer. <laughs> Oh, 
sizzle. Sounds good. Look at that. So that's had half an hour in the oven. That's pretty quick to cook roast, a whole chook, roast chook butterfly, in half an cook it in the oven for half an hour. I think you're in a good spot. So I'm just gonna. It smells pretty good as up. well. FYI, smelling the I'm goods. Fly that up. And what we're gonna do? Are you a drumstick or a wing person? I'm drum. Oh, I'm always wing. Oh, nah. No, but we'd be good to eat a chicken together. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never thought of it like that. No, we're, yeah. we're, the, we're the perfect chicken eating couple. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because if you eat chicken with someone that I've eats the legs and you want the legs, there's a fight on. Well put. <laughs> Good argument. And all of this goodness straight over the top. Whoa. You got chicken, you got sauce, you got salad. You've got to be happy with that. I think that's that. pretty sharp. Nice excuse to hang around the barbie. Again, talk tactics, game plan, who's going to win, have all the arguments in the world, shared over a couple of friendly brothies. <laughs> I think that's a bit of a right.